Hi guys, welcome back to Warrenau and our latest finished project. So excited with this one. You may recall when I introduced this project to you a few months ago that we were having deliberations around the red brick. We weren't quite sure what to do and there was a bit of discussion going on about painting or rendering or leaving as is. Well, we had masses of red mulch here. Once we actually removed the mulch and removed a lot of the crappy plants and things we had, this red brick actually really started to pop and fits in really well with the area. So as you can see, we've kept it and it's actually now really nicely complemented by the beautiful garden that we have here. This was always a great living space, but with some Rainmaker Love, it is even more so now. So lots of nice natural light coming in through the big window. Fixing up some of those yucky bushes out there is letting more light in now though. We've ripped up the daggy old carpets and polished up the beautiful boards underneath. Lots of paint, down lights, and of course styling that just makes this whole room really pop. Okay, so believe it or not, we decided to remove the psychedelic green bench tops from this kitchen. Not sure what we were thinking there. Anyway, we've given it the usual Rainmaker love, a nice modern kitchen, new bench tops, high gloss cupboards, appliances, and our favourite current subway tiles. It's just now a really nice modern kitchen. Okay, so here in the bathroom, apart from getting rid of the very 80s, very blue tiles that we had in here, we've actually reconfigured things a little bit. There was another toilet in here. Because we've got a separate toilet elsewhere, we actually sacrificed that. Second toilets can be good, but the trade-off was, was previously there was no bath in here. So remove that toilet, put a bath in. The probable buyer of this home is going to be a young family, so we felt it was far more important to have a bath rather than that second toilet. Previously, while this was meant to be the third bedroom, it actually wasn't closed off properly. This was wide open, so you had to walk through here to um, get through to the living space, and that just doesn't work. We knew this probably would be a family home, so while we often take down walls in our renos, in this instance, we've actually put a wall up to create a very definite third bedroom, which is so important for our resale. So this second living area was done as an extension by the previous owners, but it wasn't quite right. It was a bit of an ordinary uh, kind of a construction job and the ceiling was too low and it just didn't work. So we've come in, we've jip rocked everything, we've made sure that the ceiling is at the right height and made it a really good space, nice second great size living area that really now flows through nicely to the backyard. This house previously had no outdoor entertaining space to speak of, which with Rainmaker projects is a really big no-no. So we were actually thinking originally of putting in a deck, but there was already some paving here. So we made a judgment call in terms of budget and bang for our buck. So instead we extended the paving and put the money into putting in a pergola. We reconfigured the paving and the paths, which was all very higgledy piggledy. We put in lots of nice lush lawn, which makes it really family friendly, which ties in really well with this great outdoor entertaining space coming off the second living. 